Hi everybody, it's Bruce Nature Calls. I'm out today to do a redo on the Hilleberg Enon. A couple of months ago I put out a, uh, basically just a, a setup video on this tent. But since then, I've had a chance to use it, look at it, inspect it, and really find out all the neat uh, features about this tent. And I'm gonna show you this to you now. I have uh, also compared it to, I have about four or five other solo tents out there in the, in the, in the shop uh, that I can directly compare it to. And also uh, looking at other tents and tarps. If you look at my channel, I love tents. So this is, a, I think, one of the coolest tents that I have ever had the chance to play around with. Uh, first of all, it's made by the Hilleberg Company, and they're out of Sweden. And they have uh, their tents made in Estonia. And each tent is made by one person. And you can actually find their name inside the tent. This tent is their big push into the ultralight category. And if you know anything about Hillebergs, they're well known for their super strong, heavy duty expedition caliber tents. They aren't necessarily known for lightweight, even though they do have the Ride, which is a really neat tent, and they do have some really neat tarps, and they have lots of lightweight things, but they're well, definitely well known for crappy, crappy weather, snow, and heavy, heavy wind. Now this is their ultralight, but it's still made from their Curlon fabric, and it's one of the strongest still nylon type fabrics out there. It's six times stronger from what I've heard. I've tried to tear it with my hands. I can't do it. Um, and there's a lot of new still nylons out there that are, are getting close to it. But this is, they've done their research. They've come up with their own product. Um, and it's just, it's super, super strong. And with that, they can add a lifetime guarantee. And that's a lifetime guarantee against, of course, manufacturer. Uh, defects or, or uh, product flaws that that would would be their fault, not bears or leaving it out in the sun all summer long. But uh, lifetime guarantee on it. I don't really know any other tent manufacturers that have that. So uh, quick specs on it. It is a one-person double wall tent. It weighs uh, everything in here: the bag, the lines. The tent, the inner tent, and the pegs, and everything that's in here is two pounds, seven ounces. So if you take all that stuff out, just the tent itself is one point, one pound, 15 ounces. And you can also get a mesh inner, which is 1.1 ounce, I think. So you can even go lighter with it. Let's go ahead and set this baby up. So now the, the, the floor of the tent is the same strength as they have in their, uh, I think it's uh, what, red label tents. So um, it's, a, it's got a strong uh, floor pan to it. You can also get a footprint for it. That'll of course make it last that much longer. Um, and they do make those. Now this is the Curlon 600. So they have, for their strongest, it's Curlon 1800. Uh, that would be their black label tents. Um, then you get down to Curlon 1200 which is, I think, their red label tents. And then you get down to this Curlon 600. So it, it's just, uh, no, I just, just love it. Um, the sewing, if you don't know, um, they use uh, cooling jets on their needles. So it doesn't make too big a hole when they're, when they're, when they're sewing through. Um, they also space their every hole a little bit further out um, so you're not making a lot of holes. I've got some other um, things when I'm making my tarps I talk a lot more about that but um, you know this this is not like what you would have for like regular cloth like your jeans you don't put a ton of holes in this stuff and it's super strong so you don't have to so uh, now one thing that I do do on all my tents is 
you want to put one part of your tent into the wind and so you need to know which part of that tent you want to go into the wind. The wind right now is coming from that direction. So I put a little marker on the corner of the tent that will go into the wind. And since Hilleberg designs their stuff with so much thought, and you'll see as I, I'll show you, everything they have is oriented. So if you were like in a blizzard, that you could set up this tent with a relative amount of ease and it would come out you know to where you could get out of the out of the weather into your tent and so they design it from from say this corner all the way through all right so here they do give you a, a little tent peg uh, bag since this is an ultralight they give you the ultralight pegs that go with it and these are their little tri pegs that they have their aluminum alloy they're very strong and uh, they're designed you know as best they could for a lightweight style tent so I'm gonna go ahead and peg out that wind that wind end and uh, get it all on its way We want to put them all the pegs all the way in. Uh, that's where they have the best strength. All right, we've got the uh, the windward end staked out, so now it's time to put in the the poles. And uh, they also come in a bag. And in this bag is a spare pole and a repair kit. So they're they're giving you everything. So what they provide are the DAC. DAC poles. Uh, they're the nine millimeter, and just one pole. So they are very, very lightweight poles, and they've already pre-bent them, which is fine. Um, that doesn't take any, any away from the strength. And they have. Um, so on this end, they've got a nice little spot. You know where it can be pushed through and they have a full sleeve remember these are Hilleberg tents and they're designed for the worst so line set Okay, now on this end, so you push it all the way through, and they have a little cup right here that you can put your end in. It's like that, and uh, I suppose you could probably fit another one in there. But since this is a lightweight, and they say it's a three season tent, you know, you're not going for that. So, so once you get that in this little cup right here, and you tighten it up right there till the cup gets to the tent itself. Okay, so now we've got it all pulled in. So now what to do is pull it on out, get a peg ready, peg ready. We're going to bring up the vent and stake it out. Okay, then we have two guy, guy lines on either side that we'll stake out. You can put these at any direction. This is their cordage. It has no cover on it, which I don't know paracord is a big favorite of everybody. This is actually all woven together, has very low stretch. And so, and it's about a two millimeter line. And what it has, it makes it so all the little t t little catches and line locks can grab onto it. It doesn't soak up water. I think it's called Vectran and polyester. 
but um, so you find you know, where a good angle is for your wind. Stake that down. Got it all staked out, so now let's do some adjustments. Use our nice little convenient line locks. And just tighten those up. There's plenty of those around. You don't want to flatten the hoop. That is the whole tent. So let's take a look. Back here, we have a pole. Um, and so this is, if you're familiar with Hilleberg, so they have the Octo, which is a very, very famous, very popular tent with them. Um, what they did with that is they use a lighter fabric. They put these vents in to make sure there's plenty of uh, ventilation so you don't get the condensation in there. And of course it makes it even lighter. Let me tighten these up a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Now, we have here, and I was talking about before, so when I set it up, I set that as the wind end over there. So the wind would be coming this way. So this is the gasket or rain cover that they have over the zipper to get into the tent. Now, get on up. The big, huge zipper poles. Those big rings, you could probably do that with a mitten on. Now, here we have. So roll this up out of the way. Here is the vestibule outside of, uh, outside of the sleeping area. We can look all the way back and you can see that ventilation between the inner tent and the outer tent. So that is always the key to you know, condensation and stuff is to have the outer tent and see that it just all goes right to the ground. So if there is condensation, it drips down the walls and right back into the ground. It doesn't go onto the inner tent. Uh, the inner tent is completely spread away. You can see all this nice ventilation. So it's connected up here at the top, suspended off of the tent. sitting just in the vestibule. It's got a real nice, sturdy, wide area. I'm actually sitting in the vestibule. And I have a lot of tents where that has to be staked out. Uh, but this is definitely big enough to keep a lot of gear in it and not have a tent laying on top of it. So I really love this vestibule. It's just a, it's nice and taut, big area. And I mean, I could sleep in this. So not even including the tent. So let's get in the tent. We have a big D door. Your space pen fell out. This can be rolled back. Get out of the way. Give you that nice view. That's the, the D door. Have a nice, nice view out here. Let's take you off the stand there. All right. So I am in the middle, sitting straight up. I am. Um, I'm a six foot tall, pretty average guy. I can sit up. My head is touching though, but it's uh, I'm not crouched over at all like some of my other tents. Let's do the lay down test. Okay, yeah, and I'm six feet tall. I've got about five inches of room before my feet hit that end. Yeah, but what about five inches up here too? So, you know, if you're over six feet tall.
you know, that's that's workable. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are that are taller that can't quite find you know a place a tent for them. This is this nice yellow interior, by the way. It makes it nice and cheery in here. Up here at the peak, we've got a few loops that you can hang stuff on. And over here, we've got a ton of room. So it's just a, it's just really nice. I mean, you could fit two people in here, I guess, or uh, like I take my dog places. But uh, just fantastic. So overall, I really think this is a fantastic tent. And I do have other solo tents. And I do have tarps. But if I knew that the weather was marginal or it was going to be raining and I was going lightweight, uh, this would go. It really would. I'd have full confidence in it. So, I mean, I've got other tents that, yeah, I'd have confidence, but if I just didn't want to have to think about it at all, this is what I would take. So. Hope you like it and uh, get out there on the trail. See you later.